This is Frank Lloyd Wright. He designed more than 1,000 structures over a 70-year career. He designed things like office buildings, churches, schools, skyscrapers, hotels, museums, and even houses. Here I'm showing you a few photos of some houses that he designed. As you can see, a lot of his designs had really clean lines. They had repeating patterns, circles, rectangles, triangles, different geometric shapes in a lot of his designs. When Frank Lloyd Wright designed things like houses, he designed with a philosophy he called organic architecture. And that meant that he wanted his architecture to be in harmony with the world around it. So if there was a boulder or if there were tall trees or if there was mountains or things like that, he tried to incorporate those things into the design of the building or the structure that he was working on. This is one of his most famous houses that he built. It's called Falling Water. And this is a great example of the organic architecture that I was talking about. Because with falling water, this house is actually built over a small waterfall and he incorporated the movement of that water into the design of the house. He also considered how people would use the houses that he was designing. So it wasn't uncommon for him to actually design the furniture that went inside the house also. So here's a couple examples of dining room chairs that he designed. To go along with the interior design of the things he did with his architecture, he also did these window treatments. He called them light panels. That's what he called his stained glass windows, light panels. And you can see again, the geometric shapes that get repeated in the light panels. You see circles, you see squares, you see rectangles. And that's what we're gonna work on today. We're gonna work on making our own light panel designs for our project, you will need to have crayons, markers, pencil, a ruler, or if you don't have a ruler, you also can use the edge of a book or the edge of a video game case. As long as it has a straight edge that you can trace along, you can use that if you do not have a ruler. So if you have to do that, just grab your pencil, put the case down and just trace along the edge as if you have a ruler. That will work too. So to get started, I just went through and I added a lot of straight lines to my paper using my ruler. I added some circles and some different patterns that I could repeat over and over again. This part is totally up to you. The size paper, the shape of the paper, that's totally up to you. But just go ahead and add some geometric shapes and patterns. And then after you get it done in pencil, go back and trace it with a Sharpie marker or a black crayon. That's up to you but give it some bold outlines. When you choose your color, remember your color theory. Some colors go better together than others. You can put all your cool colors together. That's your blues, your purples, your greens, or you can put all warm colors together. That would be like orange, yellow, and red. Or you can do contrasting colors and use complementary colors such as purple and yellow or red and green. Complementary colors are colors that are opposite each other on the color wheel, just to remind you. So just pick whatever kind of color scheme you want and color in each block. You can leave white spaces and that's pretty much it. It's a really simple project, but it makes really colorful, beautiful designs. So let's see what you can do with it. 